but into mine head. It's day number three, the final day of the quarterfinal of the Cascan Virtuals Players Championship. And an absolute thriller, Jamie. Unfortunately, it didn't go your way. 10 9 loss against uh, Adrian, but I don't think you could have done anything else. No, no, we uh, were just saying, you know, the big finishes at the end, the 1 2 4 and the 1 2 3 were world class. But he does that all the time, you know. I remember playing him in Crawley, you know, just before I released my book last year. And uh, it was five apiece. I left tops. He went out one five four, fifty seven, fifty seven tops. But he does that all the time. Yeah. You know, and and credit to him. He's a, he's a fantastic guy. He's he's not over his own shoulders. He understands. You know, he knows what's what's capable of everybody. Um, and you know, I think if the ball went in for the one six seven, you know, ten eight win, yeah. I'd have been laughing. But yeah. you know, it, another day maybe. Uh, I'm not going to be too negative about it because I think I played okay there. Um, you know, and, and he had to play his best starts to win, and, and fair play to him. Yeah, and you, you say it's been a great tournament, and the floor form is now perhaps starting to show on mm. the, on the main stage. Yeah, certainly. I think that that was the plan. That was the that was the idea. I mean, I've been a pro now for six years, and the first sort of three or four years was really tough because I had nothing to give on the stage. It was I was a darts fan being put on a stage, really. Um, but now um, I'm fully committed to my job. I put every time I've got, you know, into it, and I'm slowly converting it. And I think that's that's a case of, um, you know, for everybody aspiring to be a pro dart player, you know, if you uh, if you can put your best darts on the main stage when the cameras are on and the crowd are there and you can put bums on seats, then you'll do well. Yeah. And I think I've now taken that on board a bit and I'm taking it a bit more serious and sort of trying to approach my game, my practice game, a bit more where. I'm getting ready for the big matches, and that's um, that's the plan now. It is, and then at, at one stage in the match where Adrian decided to check out your double twelve, yeah. he's going through mine now. What happens there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he hit double twelve, didn't he? And, and then you did. And then they went twenty-eight left, and he missed. And I hit the double twelve and went. That's yeah. mine. Thank we'll, you. We'll, we'll, we'll have one of <laughs> but those. Uh, but no. I mean, I mean, in all fairness, the whole game was good. I think he averaged a hundred. Mine was about ninety-eight. I think. Yeah. Um, and in all fairness, I've probably got another four or five points to put on that. But it's getting there, you know. I'm not going to run before I can walk. Um, I'm not too too down. I've got to keep my chin up, yeah. get ready for the world. Yeah, well, that's it. When we're playing like that, there's, there's no reason to be down, I thought. No, Great performance. No. And it, if it is any consolation, it was part of, of an absolute cracker mm. here this weekend in Butlins. Well, thank you for your time, Jamie. And look forward to seeing you in the World Championship. Cheers, Thank you. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Thanks for joining us on Tunks and Tales, ladies and gentlemen, with Jamie Jabba-Caven.